Hi, it's Johnny, and welcome to PathToProfit.tv. In this week's video, we're going to look at Hootsuite. I've been using it for quite some time, and a number of people have asked me about it and how good is it and what you can use it for. So Hootsuite allows you to send updates to Twitter, Facebook, your Facebook business page, LinkedIn, LinkedIn groups, etc., Google Plus and so on from the one platform, the one service, and you can schedule updates. So it saves a lot of time and uh, it is, you know, makes you quite efficient in terms of keeping your social profiles up to date. So there are a number of um, options. There's eight euro a month for unlimited social profiles. With the free version, you can have five social profiles. So that might be your Twitter account, your Facebook business page, your LinkedIn profile, and maybe a LinkedIn group, um, and maybe Google+. Um, if you have more than that, then you may want to look at the pro version or try it out at least for the 30 days. So I'll just go ahead and log into my account. You can log in using Facebook, using um, but, but I have an account already, obviously, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So this is the dashboard of Hootsuite. And uh, the first column is the home feed um, of my Twitter account. So these are the people that I'm following on Twitter, the same as you'd see them on the actual Twitter website. Um, these are other Twitter accounts that I have and my LinkedIn groups and profiles that I'll go through. The second column is anybody that's mentioned you on Twitter. It's good to reply and thank people for mentioning you sometimes or to re retweet uh, depending on what they've um, depending on what they've said. You can see in this column here any um, direct message that has been sent and then you can see any messages you've sent on Twitter just in case you um, forget about a message wondering did you send it or not. Then you can do a search to see is anybody talking about you on Twitter or has mentioned you or a particular subject on Twitter. So I'm monitoring social media, I'm monitoring a service called Clickbank, um, any thing that people are talking about about Camtasia which I'm using to record this video and Kajabi is a program or service that I'm using to develop my online courses. So that's the columns there. If you have another Twitter account you can very quickly pop in and um, you can have a look at LinkedIn so you can see all updates of uh, people that you're connected with on LinkedIn and you can also see um, your own updates there as well and anything any new activity that's been happening on your LinkedIn account and of course you can look at uh, Facebook but really it's it's only quite useful for um, looking at uh, Twitter um, to be honest I mean if we look at uh, my business page on Facebook so it shows me my wall post so um, usually I know what I put up on my own wall there's no events there and then any um, private messages but again you know that's um, you know really Facebook is the place to be doing that so it's really kind of useful for for primarily for Twitter but where it really um, works quite well is if you want to send um, a message or an update um, to Twitter, to Facebook business page, etc., etc. You can just type up the message, add a link, and um, it'll shrink the link for you so that it's not taking up um, your precious 140 characters, um, particularly for Twitter. And um, you can choose where you want to send it. So, for example, I might want to send it to my Twitter account, but I also might want to send it to some other Twitter accounts, some other my, my Facebook business page, maybe um, business network pages. I might want to send it to uh, Google Plus. I might want to send it to LinkedIn and so on and that's really where it starts to come into its own. You can send a message with a link or an image to um, more than one social profile at the same time. The other option then you have is to schedule it so you might want it to go out tomorrow morning at um, 9 a.m. it being a, a good time depending on your audience of course but um, early in the morning is a good time to be sending out messages and then at various times throughout the day um, you can schedule it and then that update will go out. 
then you can look at your publisher to see what you have um, in your schedule and of course I don't want that one to go out so I can delete it and back to the home page so how you add your different profiles is if you click on your name and you can add a social network and you can choose Twitter account then you connect with Twitter and if you're logged into Twitter it will connect it right up and you're you're all done with Facebook again you can connect with Facebook just decide whether you want the updates to go to your Facebook profile um, or your actual business page in my case I don't really use Hootsuite to update my personal page I just use it to update my Facebook pages so if we were to click on and connect with Facebook it would um, we would log in and it would show you your business page and you can connect it there the same with Google Plus the same with LinkedIn um, it doesn't work for the hosted version of WordPress only the free version of WordPress.com I don't use MySpace anymore and that's really how you connect them all up and then they're here in your list and again as I say you can type messages the other um, handy thing that you can do is you can turn on auto scheduling so rather than you know if you have a number of tweets that you want to send out um, during a particular day or if you're quite active on Twitter rather than you know hitting schedule and then picking the date and time you just hit auto schedule and it puts between 30 minutes to an hour and 30 between each of your updates um, and the other quite useful thing that I uh, uh, that I use then is a little service called uh, the Hootsuite Hootlet which is a little button if you like that you can add to your browser and if you're on a particular um, web page so in my case I might be in um, Feedly which we covered in um, a, a video a while back so we are in um, Feedly and we might be looking at some of our uh, favorite blogs that we subscribe to so something like um, blogging for example you know five key keys to writing an excellent blog post and if I think that's worth sending out on Twitter and LinkedIn and my Facebook business page I can just very quickly um, click on the little owl here the little hootlet application and it basically takes the content the heading of the, the blog post and puts it into Hootsuite for me and all I've got to do then is decide where I want to send it and when I want to send it I can auto schedule it so it'll go out in 30 minutes if I choose another one it'll go out in a further 30 minutes after the previous one so you're not sending all your tweets out um, together you can say I wanted to go out on um, LinkedIn only um, for example so I want to send it out to LinkedIn you can turn off that it goes to Twitter you you know it's automatically going to shorten the link for you you can also edit it and add in more information like well worth a read or um, put in the hashtag it's also also very good to always include hashtags in your tweets so hash blogging for example and I can auto schedule that and that will go out on LinkedIn and um, you can actually check in our publisher when that will go out on LinkedIn so that's scheduled to go out at in approximately one hour at 4.30 p.m. Um, today and the other great thing that we will look at um, in next week's video is how you can automatically take content or go out and get content um, automatically from various blogs and RSS feeds and get them to um, actually send tweets out on your behalf so for example if we look at eat aware in the sent tweets you can see that um, at 20 to 2 this morning via foodfight.ie this tweet went out through my eat aware twitter account and um, if you scroll down through it so basically what it's doing here is I have found some great sources of content for that particular twitter account and these tweets um, are going out automatically so they happen in between when I actually do manual tweeting these happen on an automated basis so make sure you tune in and watch next week's video where we look at um, in more detail some tips and tricks of what you can do um, with Hootsuite and that RSS feed functionality
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email me, johnny at pathtoprofit.tv.